marks the third annual Thanksgiving Day Classic between the Brampton Battalion and the St. Michael's Majors. Now, both of these teams saw action yesterday. The Barry Colts posted a come from behind six to four win over the Battalion, and the North Bay Centennials and St. Mike's skated to a three all draw. So, of course, it's a turkey, turkey, turkey day today here in Brampton. At this time, I'll send it up to the play by play voice of the Brampton Battalion, Doug Anderson. Thanks, Hammer, to kick things off off the opening face-off down inside of St. Mike's and our first stoppage of play. This is a big game tonight. Sam Cosentino for the Brampton Battalion. They come off a tough loss against the Brampton against the Barry Coles. Well, anytime you go to the hostile environment of the, Mol uh, environment of the Molson Center up in Barry, 3,700 fans in attendance yesterday and got a huge kick out of the come from behind win that Barry posted scoring three unanswered goals in the third period to win that game 6-4. McSwain, good job back-checking. The takeout, Bootlin along the boards. Boucher has it. Lays it in the corner for Masita. Looking for Bootlin at the side of the net. Bootlin doing a good job in front of Chant. And a big goal from the Majors. That coming off the stick of T.J. Reynolds. Well, T.J. Re Reynolds was acquired from the Oshawa Generals back on September 29th before the season started. And here's one of the reasons why Dave Cameron went out and got him. He quarterbacks the power play there. Puts the shot on net. Daryl Bootland always a pain in front of the net, creating some traffic in front of David Chant as the puck goes back to the point. Bootland there in front. Chant can't see it. The puck gets by him, and St. Mike's has taken a 1 0 lead. By the way, Dougie, on the last stoppage of play, Jeff Doyle, who went offside, was called for a visor violation. He will sit down with a 10 minute misconduct for the next 10 minutes. And they have to do that by trying to create it from the defensive end. This is Bateman on a great pass. Big save from Budai. Rudd plays it around for Hanchuk, who loses his stick. Torres then clobbers Klein just inside the blue line. Loose puck goes in the corner. Brent trying to set things up. Brent allowed to walk out, gives the bootland back to the point. Popovic has it. Drifts a low shot towards the front. There's a shot, they score! Daryl Bootland! Well, Daryl Bootland was picked up by the St. Michael's Majors late last season in a trade with the Barry Colts, and he's really found a home here for the St. Michael's Majors, scoring his third goal of the season. It's been a bit of a slow start for Bootland so far this year, but with the great slap shot and the assist from Tim Brent, that gets St. Michael's on the board once again. They now lead it 2-0 on Daryl Bootland's third goal of the season. You know, a big opportunity for Brampton here. All they have to do is start putting pressure on these uh, St. Mike's defenders, make them move the puck a little quicker than they want to. They gave them all the time in the world. Bootland was allowed to set up and let one fly past Chan. We've seen two of those incidents so far have resulted in two goals for St. Mike's. Harrison, a weak shot from the blue line, fanned on it. Bateman gets pushed around. Torres joins in on the fray with Reynolds. Sellen also involved in that one. Looking for Hobble through the middle. That play's knocked down. Farkasen then bumped at the blue line by Corey LeClaire. He's jump over the bench for St. Mike's. Rafi Torres on the near side. Torres with a burst of speed. Cuts to the middle. Back and he scores. Rafi Torres. Uh, Rafi Torres, vintage work by the first round draft pick of the New York Islanders, sent back four games ago, now playing in his fifth game for the battalion, has scored his fifth goal of the season, and boy, Dougie, did he come with a burst of speed up the left wing, made a good move around the defender, goes to the backhand, top shelf, beating Peter Budai, great shot, as Budai went down early, Torres recognized it, he gets around the defenseman, goes up high, tucks it in underneath the crossbar, and that gets the battalion on the board within five minutes here in this second period. But a good, great burst of speed by Rafi Torres. Leading the shots on goal markers. Played off the glass and back through the center ice area. Woods can't control it. Lukas to the outside. Burst of speed. Woods trying to go after him. Kent makes the save and pins it against the side of the net. Bouncing puck. This is Torres with Van Lusen. Torres to the outside. Crosses the blue line. Loses an edge. Hangs onto the puck. Torres steps out in front. There's a rebound. The shot. Van Lusen with a second crack at it. In front of the net. Back to the point. Flash lets it fly. It hits. Parkinson in front. Goes in the corner. Torres for Bateman. Bateman with time. Reynolds watching him as is Popovic. Bateman centers it in front. 
Van Lusen robbed by Budai. Wow, Peter Budai, what a great stop. Bateman fake going out to the left side of the net, stopped, reversed it, and all alone in front of the net with a great shot. Selling with Masita, gives it to him. Masita with a nifty move to the outside. Huge save from David Chan as he took a goal away from Masita. Lauren Masita with a great move at the top of the slot. Well, he got by Van Lusen to break that one up. Headmanning it out to Torres at the blue line. Torres for Bateman, steps across, still has it for Van Lusen. Tip shot, and Torres almost got one by Budai. He was big, and another big save off Van Lusen inside of Brampton's end. Well, and that last rush for St. Mike's was a perfect example of what you talked about, Dougie. One pass out of their zone to Lukash, and then Lukash caught Minzy coming down into this uh, end of the ice, and that's what happened, a great transition. A flurry in front of David Chen. Players go into the ice. That is Mizzy down, and the Pushkin shoving starts with Harrison and Mizzy. Also in the fray is Steve Farkasen for the majors. Yes. Farkasen with a great opportunity. Yeah, Dougie, this guy can score a little bit. He's a bit more of a tough guy. He's 31 penalty minutes this season amongst the league leaders in that department. And he's uh, in there not only to rough it up and create some penalties and try and draw Brampton into some penalties, but he'll score a little bit for you as well as he's shown some good uh, offensive foray with that opportunity. And uh, will continue to be part of this battalion hockey club long into the future. Popovic from the point gets it back to Bannon, steps into one, scores! Bannon let one fly from the top of the circle. Chant did not even have an opportunity to catch a peak of that one. Ripped it just under the crossbar. And a two-goal bulge again for the Majors. Well, just three defenders on the ice for the Brampton Battalion. Anytime that happens, the offense is given an opportunity to really spread the puck around. This time, they went from the blocker side over to the glove hand side. And Matty Bannon drilled a cannon into the top shelf by David Chant. And that regains the two-goal lead for the St. Michael's. Michael's Majors. You see, Dougie, after, after the goal was scored, it was Daryl Bootland in front of the net. He levied a slash on the Brampton defenseman. And because of that, it didn't go unnoticed. He will be sent to the box. And Stan Butler is uh, not happy, obviously, about the goal, but happy that the referees were able to pick up that trash after the play, send Bootland to the box. And now, in 20 seconds, they'll get a chance to uh, work once again. Yeah, McSween on the power play. Well, that's great for Klesla, but not such great news for Stan Butler and the Brampton Battalion. There's the guy they'd love to have back in their lineup. Big opportunity for Bateman as Budai knocks that one away. Comes back to Bateman in the slot. There's a shot. Budai's got it in the pads. Look behind him and hangs on for the whistle. Play. Fata knocks it down at the blue line. Bateman. Bateman gets it across for Harrison. Loose puck. Shot. They score! Rafi Torres! Well, great puck movement. The battalion were able to spread out the four-man box of the St. Michael's Majors. The pass went to the point to flash, then back the other way to Torres. Torres didn't really get a lot on the shot, but it deflected off Drew Fata, the defenseman for the St. Michael's Majors, and got behind Budai. That's Torres' second goal of this hockey game, sixth of the year. Watch as the pass goes all the way across to Torres, goes off Fata's skate behind Peter Budai, and tucks just inside the far post, allowing the goal to get past Budai, and there it is. Rafi Torres is second of the hockey game, sixth of the year, and the battalion now down just one goal, three to two, here with a lot of time left in this third period. This is McClement right in on goal. Hit the goal post and goes heavily into the net. Jay McClement with a great opportunity. On Peter Budai, then lost an edge and crashed into the net. So Torres with a burst of speed, crosses the blue line. Torres gets it to Harrison, trips the shot towards the front. Loose puck in the crease. Great opportunity for Van Lusen, and he could not capitalize. And again, Brampton spreading the puck out, and when that happens, it makes it a, a flurry in front of the net as it did there for Budai. Bateman with shot. Rebound, Torres goes over top of the net. Gets it back to Harrison at the point. Let's it fly. Low and hard. It's blocked by Bannon and cleared down the ice. Cross ice pass for McClement in his skates. He picks it up. Fata watching him and steers him right into the corner and heavily into the end boards. We got a penalty going against the Majors. Just a one-line hockey club anymore. They're a two- and three-line hockey club. Woods lets it go from the point right on. Rebound, bouncing puck. Budai controls it. Wrist shot again from Woods right on. Brad Woods doing a great job of letting them go low and hard right on Peter Budai. 
Popovic plays it in the corner. Here's Wood shot. Huge glove save from Budai. Oh my, I guess these guys really didn't read the scouting report. Peter Budai has been fantastic with the glove hand here tonight. Woods had a shot from the top of the circle, let the big strong wrister go, but Budai just able to get his eye on it and get the big glove hand out there to make the stop. And oh man, what a great save that was. Watch, Woods is all alone. Watch how quick Budai gets up off his feet. Sees the puck perfectly, sticks the glove hand out. Popovic to the left of him, allowed his goaltender Budai to see it and because he's able to see the puck he gets up so quickly and makes a good glove hand save to keep this game a one goal lead for St. Mike's creating some sort of traffic so there's a couple reasons why they like to get the goaltender to move off the faceoff. They've gone with four forwards and uh, Torres manning the point that does it for this hockey game as the majors do a good job a little bit of pushkin shoving into a little bit of extracurricular activities as the final buzzer goes but a big victory for the majors 3-2 here in Brampton knocking off the battalion Sammy some thoughts on this third period well Dougie Matty Bannon's second goal of the year in the first minute of this third period will turn out to be the game winner Frank Lukas and Mark Popovic get the assist the Brampton battalion come up short for the second time in as many days losing both games on this Thanksgiving weekend and right now they don't have a lot to thank themselves for. Well, I'll tell you something, a heck of a hockey game here at the Brampton Center with the Majors coming up with a big 3-2 victory knocking off the Brampton Battalion in the home team's uh, own arena. Let's get to take a break here on OHL Primetime. We'll come back right after these messages. back to the Brampton Center for Sports and Entertainment where the St. Michael's Majors have just knocked off the Brampton Battalion by a score of 3-2. to two. Currently joined by this afternoon's first star, Peter Budai. And Peter, first of all, you guys uh, got outshot pretty badly in the third period, but you were able to uh, sustain any pressure that Brampton put on you. I think I played a good game, uh, but I want to say thanks to my old teammates. Uh, defense uh, did a great job, and I think uh, this win is for uh, all team. Now you guys uh, were short-handed for a lot of the third period. How were you guys able to make it through? Uh, it was pretty tough because I think like, a couple penalty it wasn't, but the referees, referees, so we have to like kill the penalty. But thanks God we killed them and we got a good game and we win the game. Now you guys have played uh, I guess four times in the last five nights. So what are you gonna do to relax in the next couple of days? Uh, probably we're, we're gonna relax, but. It's, it's just the start of the season, so we have to work hard and work more. So we're going tomorrow on ice, so we'll see. Okay, thanks a lot, Peter. Great no, game today. No problem, thanks. This afternoon's three stars, starting off with the third star, Daryl Bootlin from St. Mike's. Rafi Torres picks up the second star nod as he had two goals, and the first star, of course, was Peter Budai. So I will just about wrap things up here from the Brampton Center this afternoon for Doug Anderson and Sam Cosentino. I am Mike Hancock, and we'll see you next time on OHL Primetime. <laughs>